George has a great camp. Everybody there is a family, man, that's, and that's what it's all about. Um, a lot of good guys there. Um, they just happen to not have really, um, you know, phenomenal Muay Thai out here. Um, they got a good boxing coach, you know, with Gary Wolf, and um, you know, and overall, I mean, it's a, it's a solid gym. They just don't have, you know, no Muay Thai instructors. So, you know, I try to bring that to them. You know, teach them a little bit about the knees and elbows and kicking and things like that. You know, to help them round out their games all the way. My, I brought Muay Thai to the game. Uh, my opponent brought boxing only, and he actually more jiu-jitsu, you know, and then he learned boxing. Um, there's, yeah, there's, you know, there's some solid Thai fighters, you know, in, in the UFC, but you know, I don't even really consider what I do straight Muay Thai. You know, it's an MMA is what I do, but you know, I take a lot from Muay Thai. That's, you know, what I try to take most of, you know, my stand-up game from, you know, just evolve it into what works for MMA. And yeah, it's, it's kind of different for me because I didn't have a wrestling background. Um, didn't really, still don't really, you know, care too much for jujitsu, but you know, it's kind of a necessity. So, but you know, I like it um, more and more as I get better at it. So um, it's just, you know, I just have to strategize a little differently and I have to, you know, um, I have to, what do you say, change my techniques and, you know, improvise a little differently than, than a lot of people would. Fighting in the UFC is a dream all in itself. And then also, you know, to fight in the UFC in my hometown, you know, on the main card against a legit opponent. I'm like, I'm like, wow, this is amazing. And then, you know, and then you get there and you're like, you know what, this is a fight. You know what I mean? Forget all that stuff. You know what I mean? I'm here to do one thing. Um, so I'm just glad I came out, you know, victor. I'm glad, you know, everything worked out in my favor. You know, I'm healthy. I'm able to come down, do seminars, and you know, and keep working, and able to get back into the gym right away. And and that's what's important. And you know, it was it was great to you know have my whole family there, and you know, show them how far I've come in the sport. Because you know, it's been a while since I've been able to fight in Ohio. You know, I think since I was, you know, I mean, I, I fought pro here in Ohio, but it was, it was you know a couple years ago. So, you know, it's great to just come back and be like, look, this is what I've been doing all that time. You know. And your fight. One of the most controversial fights in quite some time in the UFC. Uh, talk about you at, uh, with the instincts that you as a fighter have, you know, to pounce, to pounce on somebody while referee's stepping in and out. What was going through your mind? Um, I, I just, I knew he was out, you know I mean? I knew the fight was over. And, you know, at first, you know, in the, in the beginning of the fight, you know, it's, it's all just, you know, you're just going, you know, it's just, it's all 100% focus, 100% tunnel vision. But then, you know, when he broke us, you know, the first time, that was when my mind just kind of relaxed, and I'm like, I did it, you know, it's over. And then I had to get right back into that mentality of kill, 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 you know. So, um, you know, by that point, my mind was a little more relaxed, and I was like, you know, I just now at that point, I just wanted over, you know. I was like, I know the dude's hurt, you know, like I've already won the fight, you know. I'm just hurting him worse, so I I just wanted it to end, you know. I was just I I felt like I'd already won the fight, and you know, I was like, you know, let's just finish this, you know. This guy's just taking brain damage. He's just getting hurt worse. So. You know, let's just, let's just end this now. Obviously, you have a style, too, that is conducive for entertaining fights, entertaining knockouts. It seems like uh, some guys in the UFC, they can even lose fights, but if they're entertaining, you know, Dana and them continue to get them on the card. I know you probably don't think about that. You probably think about winning, but, you know, your style doesn't hurt, you know, and, and getting you continued to be featured on cards. Yeah, I never even, like, to me, it's not even something I think about. Um, it's just, like it's weird to me, you know, a lot of the things I, I hear, you know, uh, about myself, you know, in the public eye and stuff, like how I'll fight anybody and like, you know, I train every day, I train harder than most people in the gym, blah, blah. And to me, like, that's just normal. Like, this is like what I do. This is, you know, I think every fighter should be like that. So like, it kind of shocks me sometimes, you know, when I'm like, I'm like, I thought everybody was like this, you know what I mean? And then I'm like, you know, I guess not everybody is. So. You know, I don't see how people can live with themselves going in there and not putting it all on the line. Um, going on the Ultimate Fighter, man, is, is actually a really great experience. A lot of people, um, you know, a lot of the fighters that come off that show that talk about how they hate it and, you know, is a miserable experience and all that. Them guys, they're just weak-minded people is all it is, man. It's just, you go in there, man, and you learn more than, you know, you, you could learn in a year. You know what I mean? If, if, if I mean, you just can't duplicate that experience. You know, you're in front of camera the whole time. It, the first time you go to the UFC, it's overwhelming. You know, you got cameras all around you. Everybody's wanting to interview you. All your friends and family know about it, so they're texting you and calling you. You know, um, you got you know you got radio interviews all week long. People bugging you. You know, uh, the week of the fight is, is just ridiculous. You're trying to focus on this fight. You know, you're like, this is, you know, this is my chance. You know, I'm in the UFC, and then you got to deal with all this other crap, right? 
but you get on that show and you're completely used to that. You know, you're used to being in the public eye. You've, you've watched yourself on TV with, while millions of other people are watching it. You, you know, I've, I look on the internet stuff, I see what people are talking. You know, like I'm used to that scrutiny. You know, I'm used to, you know, cameras in my face all the time. And, you know, so going through that and then, you know, also, you know, um, you know I, I trained with Forrest Griffin on the show. You know, being around someone like him, one of the hardest workers in the game, you know, teaches you, you know, what it's like to be a real UFC fighter, for this to be your life, this is what you gotta do. So being in that situation, I think it did nothing but make me a better fighter. Uh, to me, I, I call it like, you know, a boot camp for fighters or, or like a basic training, you know what I mean, for the UFC, it just gets you prepared. And after you go through that, man, you go to the UFC and it's, it's all cakewalk, you know. It's just another fight and then all you gotta do is worry about the fight. You already know how to handle interviews, you know how to do all that stuff. You already know what it's like to have cameras in your face. You know, you, it's weird, man, the first time you go out and fight and you got a camera watching you walk out to the cage. You know what I mean? Where when you're standing in the cage and you're, get, you know, kind of loosening up, thinking, focusing on your fight, and you got a camera, you know, as close as this camera is to your face. You know what I mean? You got a dude screaming your name and stuff, you know? You got Dana White over here watching. You got, you know, Rampage, Force, you know what I mean? Like the first time you do that, man, you know, that's an intense experience. So to be able to actually go through all that, get it all done, I mean, it, you just can't duplicate that experience, and, and now I'm just relaxed and calm and ready to fight, you know. Obviously, this is your career right now, and you're also training. What has MMA done for you as an individual? What has it meant? You know, people from the outside looking in, see, some still see it as a barbaric thing, but, you know, you guys, this is a, a, a culture, it's a lifestyle, it's a life choice. You know, what, what does it mean for you? Um, for me, MMA is probably even a little different than most people because, you know, I come from... Um, I, before I was doing MMA, I was doing jail a lot, um, drinking all the time, doing drugs, stupid shit, you know, um, doing a lot of things I shouldn't have done. So it brought, you know, just the fact that I started doing MMA brought a positive uh, piece to my life, you know, turned my life around. And then, so to actually be able to take that that I love and something that, you know, was able to turn my life around and actually make that my career, I mean, that's, life don't get no better than that, you know, it's my dream. And right now I'm basically just living a perfect life, you know, this is, you know, I couldn't be any happier with my life right now. Um, so I'm just gonna keep working, you know, so I enjoy getting up and going to the gym every day, you know. I, I work out hard as I can every day. And when you enjoy it, you know, it's a lot easier to, you know, get in there and keep improving every day.